Hi everyone, it's Miss Steven here reporting from my kitchen. Um, I should say excuse the hat cat here, but it's just the reality of being at home. Um, my cat loves to crawl on any warm lap. Um, our learning goal for today is sound manipulation. I can manipulate the last sound that you hear in a word. Um, so we're gonna do an example before I actually start to show you what it would look like. I just want you to listen. I want you to say the word cat. The last sound in cat is t. I want you to change the t to a p. What word did you get? If you guessed the word cap, you'd be right. Say cap. Change the p to a s. What word did you get? If you got the word cas, you were right. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like with letters. You can just listen, or you can watch, or you can do both. We're going to try with our first word. If I push these sounds together, sot, the word is sot. Change the t to a d, you get the word sod. Change the d to a k. You get the word sock. Change the k to a l. You get the word sol. Change the l to a f. You get the word sof. Change the f to a p. You get the word sop. Let's try with a different word. F and I, so that's fit. The word is fit. Change the t to a p. And you get fip. Change the p to a k. You get thick. Change the k to a j. You get fidge. Change the j to a g. You get fig. I want you to go get some alphabets and I want you to try, maybe with um, some adult at home, doing another ending sound for l. So if I gave you lup and I wanted you to change the ending sound, how many different words can you come up with if you change the p, lup? How many different words can you come up with if you change the p? What if I gave you the word meff and I asked you to change the f sound? How many different words can you come up with with the word meff if I change the last sound? Good luck.